Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another exporting results struggle. We're still talking about the regression table. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take this initial table seven that we saw in the last video. We're just gonna beef it up a little bit. What I mean by beef it up is we'll add some notes. We'll add some other things going on in here just to make it, again, a little easier to read but a little more advanced at the same time. Again, if you wanna be notified when these next videos come out, make sure to both subscribe and hit the bell. But let's go ahead and get right into state and start talking about how to make this table better. So here we are. Again, the code will be in the description below this video. But let's go ahead and reread in our auto data. So here's our auto data. Notice that five and six are a little different. What I'm doing is I'm predefining the notes that I want in my table. I'm doing that because I'm really trying to clean up this giant block of S tab that you see in 15 through 33. So in order to clean that up, I'm going to define my notes ahead of time. Now maybe you want to define it right before you actually do the S tab, totally up to you. This is how I like to do it. I like to put my notes and sources at the top and then all my state of code in the middle and then my output at the end. So these are just the notes that I want on my table. So I want to note that I'm using robust standard errors. I want to know what my controls are and then I want to know what my sources are. So let's go ahead and get right into estimating this. I, once again, I'm going to use this S clear command just to make sure I don't have any output coming into that table from another session. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is exactly like before, where I store this regression, but now I'm gonna est add this local controls option. This is anything, you can call this anything, and I'm gonna say no. What I'm trying to say here is that when you look at this column in the regression, I don't have controls in this regression, but in the second regression I run, I am gonna have those controls from last time, that foreign headroom and rep 78 and I want to indicate that I'm using controls even though I'm not reporting the coefficient for those controls. So let's go ahead, let's just run this giant block together and you can see that we added this E controls right here. We're going to call that E controls in the scalar option when we do this S tab. So now we're just going to walk through this code for S tab. Again, very similar to what we saw before and definitely in that video description below. So notice in this scalar option, what I'm saying is I want the R squared. I want the number of observations, but I also want you to specify that yes or no option for whether or not the regression included controls. You could do pretty much anything for this local. This is also helpful if maybe you wanna talk about the fact that you're doing like fixed effects versus random effects, or like maybe in a couple of regressions you're using cluster standard errors versus not, but basically you can use this to add text to the bottom of your columns. That'll save you from having to report all your coefficients and also make it just much easier to read when someone's looking at it. The other two options that you'll see is no notes, and that might be confusing because we're trying to add a note. But the reason I'm doing the no notes option is because Stata, when it sees robust, wants to say like robust standard errors in parentheses and like the different levels of stars that are used. But we don't really need that, so I wanna suppress those notes and I wanna use my own notes. I wanna use the notes and sources that we defined in five and six. Notice that I put a space between note one and global sources. That's because when Stata sees a space between these quotes, it's going to put it on a new line, just like we did in that summary stats table. Very helpful in terms of making your notes and sources as readable as possible. Now that we've got everything done, I just want a clean run. So I'm just going to select everything, Control A and Control D to run it all. Now we'll go ahead, we'll check out our tech output, see how we're doing. You can see we've got observations, R squared, and controls. And you'll notice in that initial overleaf document, we didn't have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and re-upload our tech file for this option. So I'll go ahead and go in here, re-add this option. It'll tell me I'm about to overwrite something, but that's fine. And we'll go ahead and overwrite table eight. And you can see now that we have this nice little control column for no and yes. Got a lovely note, we've got a source. Already this table is looking a lot better. We're gonna keep making it look even better in the next couple of videos. So like and subscribe if this video was helpful and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.